First tonight here at 11 o'clock after more than a year of complaints, finally wrecked and abandoned cars are disappearing again off our streets towed by the city. Good evening everyone. I'm Doug Profit and I'm Lisa Hudson. The city's impound lot filled up a long time ago, but that forced Metro police to leave cars where they were sometimes for weeks at a time. Came a real eye, so a lot of complaints flowed in. 11 11's Heather Fountain is live right now from the old impound lot on Frankfurt Avenue that is so full. Heather, what did you find has changed all of a sudden? Well, Doug, there are certainly things that are being done to clear out this impound lot. For example, just yesterday, nearly 150 cars were auctioned off. But here's the thing, about 200 cars are coming in a week, so it's still overcrowded, which means a lot of those broken down cars are going to be sitting on your streets longer. But I do have good news to report tonight. LMPD coming up with a temporary solution, an overflow lot to put those abandoned cars to clear off those streets as quickly as possible. Abandoned and in the way. We got neighbors here. They can't park there in front of their house because there's an abandoned car there. Margaret Phelps says this beat up Lexus has been sitting in front of her home on Breckenridge Lane for more than three months. A problem all too familiar. Abandoned cars crowding our city streets and highways for weeks at a time. It's an eyesore. Usually cars like this will end up here at the city impound lot on Frankfurt Avenue. Every car we get on here, we have to hold a minimum of 45 days under law. But right now, it's more than 400 vehicles over capacity, an issue Lieutenant Colonel Rob Schroeder has been fighting to solve on the hunt for a new space for almost a year. It is something high on our list. Unfortunately, it's just been a very, very difficult process. So LMPD has been working with Louisville Metro's fleet facility on Newburgh Road for a temporary solution to store abandoned vehicles here. It's only been about six weeks but it's made a significant dent. So we've been able to tow about 183 cars off the streets, abandoned cars off the streets. Like this one, removed from 4th and Ormsby, and this one, which used to sit at 2nd and Ormsby. For the new impound lot, Schroeder says he's still searching for that perfect location, away from any neighborhoods and not in a floodplain like the current lot. We can't actually put cars on all this space, so the space uh, really is just sitting here empty. He's also hoping for about 1,700 acres of land, but after more than 40 site visits, he says they've had to adjust the wish list. What we're looking to do at this point is consider maybe even some smaller spaces with one main tow lot for the tow operations and potentially an overflow low lot uh, for vehicles like the abandoned cars that are less likely to come get picked up. As for the Lexus on Breckenridge. Just right. get it off my street, yes. Phelps says come and get it. And another reason to relocate this lot is it's just really out of place on Frankfurt Avenue amidst that future soccer stadium that's coming to Butchertown and the waterfront botanical gardens. But Lieutenant Colonel Schroeder says he wants to take his time and find the perfect spot so that five or 10 years from now, we're not doing this all over again. Reporting live from the impound lot, I'm Heather Fountaine, 11 at 11.